After constructing a brick wall or a masonry wall, the next thing that will come in mind is how you are going to plaster your wall. On this tutorial, we are going to look at the unit cost or rates for plastering a 15 millimeter thick plaster. And we are going to look at the cost of the materials and the labor until the end. So watch with me until the end. And if you are new here, kindly subscribe here and don't forget to leave a comment. Now, the masonry wall is to be plastered. The materials that we are going to use, we are going to use the cement and sand. Our ratio is 1 is to 3. The density of cement is 1440 kg per meter cubic. The cost of a 50 kg bag is 800. The density of sand is 1600 kg per meter cubic. The cost of sand per ton is 1600. Labor, we have skilled of 200 per hour and skilled is at a cost of 100 shillings per our wall is 10, 10 meters length and 10 meters height. So let's see how we are going to find the quantities that we need for that plaster. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to calculate the service area, this service area where we are going to do our plastering. So the service area will be the length multiplied by the height that gives us 100, milli, 100 meters square. And then we are going to look at the volume of the plaster that we are going to need. So we need the area and the thickness of the plaster. So our area is 100 and then the thickness is 15 millimeters. We change it into meters. So if you multiply that, you're going to get 1.5 meter cubic. Now this is the volume of the wet plaster. Now let's find the volume of the dry plaster. It will be 1.5 multiplied by a factor of 1.87. That gives us 2.805 cubic meter. Now, if the volume of the drive plaster is 2.805 meter cubic, what is the volume, what is the content, how much cement do we have in that plaster, bearing in mind that we have cement and we have, we have sand. So it's going to be, our ratio was 1 to 4, 1 to 3, sorry, so it's going to be 1 over the total ratio, and then we multiply by 2.805, that gives us 0 0.701, and then one volume bag of cement as what is the volume of one bag of cement that is the density divided by one bag is 50 kgs that gives us a volume of 28.8 .8 meter cubic now let's calculate the number of bags of cement in the 15 millimeter plaster we have a, a volume of cement in the 15 millimeter plaster is 0 0.71 and then the the volume that is in one bag of cement is 228.8 so how many bags do we need we need 20 bags so the cost of cement will be 20 multiplied by the cost of one bag that gives us 16000 shillings now the volume of dry pl plaster was 2.80 so let's find the how much sand is there in the in the plaster so sand is 3 over 4 remember our ratio was 1 is 2 1 is to 3, so it's 3 over the total ratio times 2.805. That gives us 2.104. The volume of sand will be the volume of sand that is in the plaster multiplied by the density. The density of sand is 1,600. So we multiply by that, we get 3,366.4 kg. Number of tons will be... So we convert these kgs into tons, so we divide by a thousand, that will give us 3.3664 tons. The cost of sand per ton is 1300, so the cost of sand will be the cost of one ton times the number of tons that we have, that gives us 4376.32. Now let's find the total cost of material, that is the cost of cement plus the cost of sand, that will give us 16,000 plus 4,376.32, that will give us 20,376.32. We allow for 25 shrinkage and wastage, that will give us 25,470.40 and 40 cents. Now let's go to the labor that are going to do this work. We have the scaled labor is 200 per hour. The unscaled labor is 100 per hour. So we are going to assume three skilled and three unskilled and they are working for eight hours. So it's going to be three times 300 plus three plus 100. That gives us six hours, making a total of 7,200. Now this is the labor that we need for, for those hours. Now let's go to... 
the total material, the total cost of material plus labor, it will be the material, the cost of the material 25,470 multiplied by, by seven, sorry, plus 7,200, that gives us 32,640.40, and then allow for, say, 40% profits and overheads, that will give us 45,738.52. So, guys, that is how we 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 calculate the cost of plastering that is 15 millimeter thick plaster to that mason wall thank you guys for your time until next time bye bye